Arashiyama is a must-visit spot in Kyoto. When you're in Kyoto, we highly recommend planning a day trip to Arashiyama. In this video, we'll give you a quick rundown of the must. See attractions for your day trip to Arashiyama, share our route for visiting these attractions, taking into account the best times of the day, so you can use it as a reference as well as transportation tips to make your visit smoother. Let's get started. Arashiyama has been a popular vacation spot for the royal family and nobility since the Heian period. In our travel plan, we've included this map that displays where different attractions are located in Arashiya. We began our day at Tugetsukyo Bridge because its view is even more stunning in the morning. The Tugetsukyo Bridge in Arashiyama stretches over the Katsura River and it's about 155 meters long. In the middle, there's a road for cars and on both sides, there are walking paths. When you stand on the bridge, you can snap some great photos with the river in the background. During spring and autumn, the mountain forest on the opposite side of the bridge is filled with cherry blossoms or colorful maple leaves. In the morning, when the sun shines on the mountain forest, it makes the scenery even more beautiful. But in the afternoon, when the sun goes behind the mountain, it gets darker and you can't see the colorful cherry blossoms or maple leaves on the mountain. We suggest coming to, to get coming to Tuskukyo Bridge in the morning to take in the stunning scenery. The next thing on our agenda was to hop on the Sagano Romantic Train during lunchtime, hoping it would be less crowded. The Sagano Romantic Train is this cool retro-style sightseeing train that chugs along the Hazu River. It's a short ride with just four stops, and the whole journey lasts around 30 minutes. Besides enjoying the scenic river view, you'll also spot some big maple leaves and cherry blossom trees along the way. That's why it gets super crowded, especially during cherry blossom and maple leaf seasons. It's a really good idea to purchase your train ticket online ahead of time. If you wait until the day of your travel, you won't be able to get one at the station because they'll all be sold out. The fifth carriage on the train is unique because it's totally open. You won't miss a thing in the view, and you can really feel the Arashiyama breeze and the train's immersive motion. We've got all the links and information you need in the travel plan to assist you in purchasing your tickets online. When it comes to choosing seats, try to go for even numbered ones if you can because we believe the even numbered side offers better scenery. Besides the Sagana Romantic Train, you also have the option to take a cruise and soak in the beautiful river views. The Hozu River Cruise is kind of like rafting, but it's not as intense. The whole boat trip usually lasts around two hours, giving you plenty of time to admire the breathtaking scenery of Arashiyama along the way. However, just a few days before our visit, there was a boat that capsized in the river. It's had a few accidents in the past as well, so it might be a good idea to think twice before considering it. We got round trip tickets for the Saginaw train. We started our journey at Saga Toroko Station and eventually arrived at the last stop. Toroko Kimoka Station. After that, we stayed on the same train, heading back, and got off at Toroko Arashiyama Station. We didn't go all the way back to the starting point, Saga Toroko Station, because our next destination, the Bamboo Forest Path, was right near Toroko Arashiyama Station. The Bamboo Forest Trail ranks as one of Arashiyama's most beloved attractions. This winding 400 meter path is enveloped by towering bamboo forests on both sides. When you gaze upward, it's like a natural ceiling formed by the bamboo forest, effectively blocking out the sky. Only occasional beams of sunlight manage to filter through the gaps. Many tourists opt to don kimonos for a leisurely stroll along the bamboo forest trails. You'll often see tourists using rickshaws to, sh to shuttle back and forth along the bamboo forest trails. As we strolled along the bamboo forest path, we came across loads of cherry blossoms while heading to the Arashiyama Park observation deck. It's definitely the perfect spot for taking pictures with cherry blossoms. If you have enough time, you should definitely check out the lovely shrines and temples in Arashiyama, like Nonomiya Shrine and Tenryu Temple. Because we were hungry, we decided to visit a vegetarian restaurant named Ain, which specializes in tofu. It's conveniently located right in front of Tenryu Shrine. Arashiyama is well known for its tofu due to the river water used in its preparation. We had a delightful meal in the elegant ambiance created by the Japanese architecture. The best part is that it's past the lunch rush, so there's no line and no waiting at all. We strongly recommend giving it a try. Before you leave Arashiyama, make sure to check out Yuzen Koren, which is right next to Arashiyama Station on the Randon Railway. Yuzen Koren is adorned with 600 columns, each about 2 meters tall, featuring the traditional and elegant kimono pattern known as Kyo Yuzen. It is often referred to as the Kimono Forest. Kyo Yuzen represents one of Kyoto's traditional crafts and is a dyeing technique with its origins in Kyoto. It's considered a high-end form of Yuzen. In the evening, the leads within the columns illuminate, creating a stunning and dreamy transformation of the entire row of kimono trees. 
Taking a stroll through Yuzin Corin at night will surely make you forget that you're still inside a train station. You've got three ways to get to Arashiyama. The first one is JR Train. If you happen to live close to Kyoto Station, you'll be pleasantly surprised by how quick it is to get to Arashiyama using the JR Train. It takes less than 20 minutes to reach JR Saga Arashiyama Station. Next is Hankyu Electric Railway. If you reside in Kawaramachi, you can hop on the Hankyu train headed to Arashiya Hankyu, but keep in mind that you'll have to switch trains at Ketura Station. The last one is Randon, Kiyofuku Electric Railway. If you happen to live near Shijo Station or Karasuma Station in the subway, you can easily stroll over to Randon's Shijo Amiya Station, which is just a 15 minute walk away. Alternatively, you can hop on one subway stop to Omiya Station, which is right across from Randon's Shijo Omiya Station, where the Arashiden line starts, and it'll take you roughly half an hour to get to Arashiyama from there. You can grab a Kyoto subway and Randon One Day Pass to enjoy unlimited rides on the subway and Randon Railway for a whole day. You can easily purchase one from Klo. If you're interested in learning more about various money, saving transportation passes in the Kansai area, check out these videos. We'll share our travel plan for free in our final video of the trip. See you at the next location in Kyoto.